Welcome to MicroCare here at IPC Apex Expo. I'm delighted to be joined by Tom Tattersall. Uh, nice to see you again, Tom. Hey, Trevor. As always, good to see you. You've got a bigger smile than usual on your face today. I wonder why that is. <laughs> well, the show's going really well. Mm -hmm. It's good to see folks like yourself, our end users, our distributors. It's just a much more lively show this year right. than last year. So. And Things and, are going and, and, well. And you, you also got a, a really rather special Christmas present as well. I did get a special <laughs> Christmas present. And it, it uh, was unexpected, but I, you know, been, a lot of the conversation we've had is with uh, relating to the recent announcement by 3M of leaving the Novec fluids business over the next couple years. Right. So we've been talking to a lot of end users that, hey, we have alternatives, don't panic, mm -hmm. uh, work with us on validation, qualification of your circuit board, cleaning process. So what's the date, what's the timeline here? I mean, when are they talking about exiting that? Well, 3M announced that they're going to cease production of uh, this class of chemicals by the end of 2024. All right, well, it's not that far away, so... Well, we figure no. it's going to be a six to 12 month, uh, you know, qualification period, make boards, test them, that it work. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you, Trevor, we have pretty well close to drop-ins. Uh, some performing better, some going right in the existing equipment, mm -hmm. and we're ready to help you, both in a vapor degreaser, mm -hmm. but also on the bench, because they did sell Novec fluids, were in aerosol cleaners, flux removers, which mm -hmm. you know we, we sell quite a bit of. Right, right. So what's the real reason behind the, the reason to their, their decision to exit? Well, the, the, what's behind it is a class of chemicals, fluorinated chemicals called PFAS. It's mm -hmm. getting a lot of press. Pretty well misunderstood. Mm. And uh, it, they're attacking a class of chemicals that have a long life in the environment. Right. In particular, there's been, even in Europe, in the U.S., some talk about some contamination in the water streams. And so 3M, who has a lot of those types of products that may be used, surfactants, that's what I would tell you to think like, right. that may get in the water stream. So they've decided, you know, it's time to move on to a different chemistry, then uh, they're gonna work hard to find alternatives for those types of chemistry. In our case, we don't have anything, we don't contain some of the, uh, any of the chemicals that would get into a water stream and cause right. water contamination. Right, but these, these uh, PFAS, um uh, materials. I mean, they're not just used in, uh, with surfactants, etc. They're, they're used in other mainstream applications like That's air correct. conditioning and, and, and things like that. I mean, you, you can't possibly ban the whole group. That's right. Industry, industry is working with the government agencies uh, to kind of educate on what does PFAS really mean. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, our whole air conditioning refrigeration system in the world is based on PFASs. Right. Uh, your car air conditioner has a PFAS running through it. And most people would know that as a Freon gas, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that goes and uh, goes up in the air and the big thing there is global warming. And there's all new alternatives to reduce smog and global warming that are called PFASs. In our case, we sell liquid PFAS solvents, but when they right they flash up into the air as well. They don't go into the water system. And then of course there's solids, and that would be things that would have a brand name like Teflon mm -hmm. or anything fluorinated. So all those things, again, don't go into the atmosphere and into the water system. Well, there, is, there, is, there has also been a lot of press around the Teflon stuff, you know, we talk of carcinogens and all the rest of it. But, um you know, that, well, that Teflon stuff they're talking about is a decomposition product, but more how it's manufactured. Right. And they use a manufacturing agent that gets in the water system. So they've changed over the last 10 years. Okay. That's what you're hearing from there. Right. It's not the actual PTFE itself. Right. I see. I see. Okay. It's complicated. Our job is to work with the regulators, make sure they understand the risks, and then off we go. Right. But in the case of 3M, I won't answer for 3M, I think they felt, you know what, let's go work on alternatives because some of our stuff uh, is probably, it's due to move on. Right. So they so made no so, role. But, but so. it seems rather a sweeping statement to say they're moving out of the, of the whole thing. They are moving out of the whole thing. And a lot of the other competitors that make those are staying in and they made a big statement that's going to help. Right. It's a global industry, um, but for our end users, no panic. We do have alternatives. We will be happy to work with you. And that has been probably MicroCare's number one topic. Do you have alternatives? And the answer is yes, we do. 
Great. Well, that's great to hear. So, um, you know, we'll look forward to monitoring the rollout or, or the, you know, the qualification process for over the next year and a half to see how much of that business you, you're, you're lucky enough to pick up. Well, that's good. It would be, yeah. And uh, it's more about the customers, you know, no yeah. pain. That's what I'm all about, yeah. making sure they have that. Yeah. So, okay. but thanks, Trevor, for stopping by. Always a pleasure. That's great. Thanks. Ko Young is leading a smart revolution that will change the world of electronics manufacturing. Based on our pioneering True 3D measurement-based inspection technology, we revolutionized the solder-paste inspection market to such great lengths that one in two SPIs sold today is from Ko Young. Building our SPI technology, we expanded to automated optical inspection, also known as AOI. Every year, we introduce new award-winning innovations and have proudly earned the respect from thousands of customers across diverse industries. Aside from our R&D center in Korea, we have research facilities focused on artificial intelligence and deep learning across the world to help us further develop proprietary AI technologies for your challenges. With our global network of sales and service centers, we aim to respond quickly to your needs and to deliver the highest level of customer satisfaction.